hey, that guy Wesley's here. And I come downstairs and he has a bag with a hundred thousand in cash. And he's like, Hey, I brought a hundred K. I'm like, what? And uh, so I'm like, okay, this guy's the real deal. And he goes, I'm like, okay, can you just like wait around? You want to like play a small game or like wait upstairs or, you know, and then I'll just get you as soon as the seat opens. And uh, he's like, well, can you just like hold this for me? So he like gives me his bag and <laughs> take cash to just like hold upstairs in the, in the control room. So now I'm just holding his cash. Like he just clearly doesn't care, you know? And uh, so I'm like, oh my God. So I'm like, man, I just go upstairs and I'm talking to our guys and I'm like, we got to get this guy in. Exit so I go, out of this motherfucker <laughs> hey we're gonna do a real quick friday morning edition of fade the mahoney i had so many messages from people yesterday who needed picks for the games yesterday i felt bad so i got e donk up early we're gonna give you a handful of games to go through um for today this is gonna be the shortest episode ever i promise um uh, just real quick, a couple of a couple of things. Um, John Calipari is an amazing recruiter and an awful basketball coach. He's so bad. He had the what would you say, Edong? The eight, nine, ten best basketball players on the court on his team yesterday, and their offense was dribble, 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 stop, not know what to do, and take a long jump shot when they should just dunk every time nice job kentucky um yeah they weren't uh they weren't ready they weren't ready for that st peter's heat (laughs) yeah they weren't ready just so dumb just drive to the basket you're either gonna dunk or get fouled every time okay uh additionally uh i listened to a lot of our brothers in the uh sports betting communities you know brothers slash competitors uh they claim to be good at this Da, 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 da. great well as if they're not going to see it they've already seen it because this is public so well yeah but all the dozens and two people who listen on on uh spotify man <laughs> all right that looked good um oh so the people on spotify you don't want them to see it i don't want them to see it they're just going to yeah. have a dead space right there um uh, as I was saying, our competition, our brothers, they take this seriously. They claim to be experts, whereas we are honest, right, Edog? We're honest. We're awful at this. You should fade the Mahoney. Everything we give you, fade. We're stuck like 430 stars in less than a year. Uh, anyway, uh, I listened to a bunch of them. I had consensus picks like locks from people, locks that I put my hard earned money on yesterday because these people are experts. The four locks were Kentucky, lost outright. Boise uh, did not cover. San Diego State did not cover. And the under in the Creighton-San Diego State game did not cover. 0-4. Thanks, assholes. You might as well just be called Fade the Mahoney. Uh, what was Lucas's biggest play yesterday, Edoc? Well, oh, Longwood, step. right? Longwood, he loved, loved Longwood. That's our Lucas. So, so you know what? So, I mean, I do have to break this down a little bit because sometimes there's a rare chance the Mahoney's get it, right? There's, it's, it's, it's possible, right? You I mean, get, you can't get every game wrong. Correct. Just like you can't get every game right. So you can't get every game wrong. So yesterday, funny story, I saw a lot of people loving michigan on slack okay and this was this was a this was a telltale sign that it was a mahoney play and then and then there was some michigan talk at the poker table and i liked it even more and then our boy lucas walked in to deal and i said lucas who do you like today? I love Michigan. And mm-hmm. he got all wide-eyed. Now, this costs me a lot of money. So They get them right sometimes. I mean, they get, they if you do got get every right. game wrong, you'd never bet again. So it's all right. Right. Uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go at it again today. We're going to find out what Lucas loves. I'll post on Twitter 
little LL, Lucas Locke. Okay, that's a good idea. I'll retweet that uh, whenever that comes out. Uh, you mentioned Slack just real briefly. You did an amazing job putting together our um, NCAA bracket. You know, everybody does brackets. You did an amazing job. Set it up, did all the work. It's a headache. I know setting that shit up is... Uh, the, account, the accounting's a fucking headache. Yeah. That's what that well, is. Especially when you have... Well, especially I, I, when you have I people, won't name names. I get, yeah, I get especially in trouble. Especially when you have people who join a bracket but then don't fill it out. I'm not sure how you do that, but yeah, it's I possible. won't name names. I got in trouble uh with earlier. But we have 93 people in our gambling slack group. 93. There's gotta be more. There's like I'm looking at it right now. It's right here. Members, 93. Yeah, but in the, in the general thread, in, ge in the general thread, I think there's like 280 people. Okay. Okay. Um, and they're all considered lovers of poker uh -huh. and, and, gambling. and gamblers. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. We got 18 fucking brackets filled out and I've got three of them. And, and I have four of them my daughter my wife and i have two all right so, so if if you're in slack and you're watching this and you don't have a bracket hang your head in shame you're so fucking soft yeah you're not a fucking gambler that's you're for sure. soft jesus so what when i win i get what like 80 bucks back or something jesus all right let's do some picks we've already gone too long you ready you're gonna have to win just to cover the four entries. i know i know I, I put that one in for my daughter she's got wisconsin going the whole way so that seems like a donation to me gg all right first game possibly the best game of the day people are pumped for this one loyola chicago against uh ohio state ohio state is the better seed but they're getting two points what are we doing here Oh, it's no longer. I think the line opened at even, right? Loyola's favored by two. But it opened at even. Yeah, I don't have a time machine. So we got to bet this number. I'm just, I want to, I mean, it, it matters where the line moved. <laughs> this is, this is important. Okay. I want to know where the sharp money's at. Uh, all the money is coming in on the Friars or whatever Loyola is. Are they the Friars? The Ramblers? The Ramblin' Friars. All right. What do we got? We got to pick up the we pace. Are, we're taking Loyola. We're, we have the, uh, the home team. A lot of momentum in March. Um, they, have the youngest, they have the youngest coach in, uh, in the NCAA right now in men's basketball. The youngest well, that, coach. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, he's, he's fiery. All right. How many stars? Three and a half. Three and a half. All right. Next CBS game is Delaware versus Villanova. Uh, Villanova blue, favored. What'd you blue say? Hands. Mm -hmm. Blue hands. Blue hands. Yep. Shout out Joe Flacco. Uh, Villanova favored by 17. Joe Flacco went to Delaware. Mm -hmm. So did Elena Delano. Mm -hmm. uh, blue hands. Mm, taking the points. Stars? Three. Three stars. We've got six and a half stars wagered so far. Our next game, Edonk, I know you like this game. Cal State Duke. Fullerton playing against Duke. The Dukies with their super likable coach, oozing charisma in those new AT&T commercials. Duke favored by 19. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Duke's really been struggling. They've really been struggling. I don't think they've covered in their last, like, five games. So, let's go, Duke. Can't ha you can't – I mean, just because it keeps – you know, the wheel keeps coming up uh, black. You know, it's, you know, you, like, you go to the roulette table, but it just says, you know, black, 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 black. You know, it's sometimes sharp to go the other way. Past performances is not indicative of yada, yada, yada. All right. How many stars right. on Duke? Uh, four. 
four stars. Four. Okay, and the last CBS game later, Davidson at Michigan State or against Michigan State. You know, times are tough for Michigan State when they're favored by one and a half over Davidson. Yeah, Davidson, I mean, these are these are two great examples of teams that come to play in March. Both teams really come to play in March. Izzo's a phenomenal coach in March. Uh, but Davidson, you know, you have that – they used to be the Cinderella story, uh, and now they're more of just a, just a staple in March. They're just one of these teams that just comes out ready to play. So this is really – this is a really – tough matchup i mean this is a this is a shame that both these teams have to go up against each other in the first round um but my all my brackets have davidson um and and so i I think it's just going to be i think it's just going to be davidson today okay um how many stars just a three just a three three-star play well let me let me let let me let me scroll let me see if there's any ones i really really like um it's really impressive how many times you were able to mention the correct month that we're in it's really good it's much uh okay here here's here's one for you i think illinois is gonna shit the fucking bed today i think chattanooga I mean, Chattanooga money line might be the play of the day. Chattanooga money line. We're going to put three stars on Chattanooga money line. We're going to put five stars on Chattanooga plus the points. Five stars. Okay. I'm, we can't bet it here in Illinois for some reason, but you're getting seven and a half seems to be consensus on Chattanooga. What, what do you, what do you mean for some reason? Because it's Illinois, and it's an Illinois team. You can't bet on teams in your own state. That there's no, there's no rationale for that at all. At all, somebody can't drive over from Indiana and bribe an Illinois player. I mean, come on, doesn't make any sense. All right, um, all right, we went too long. Uh, I right, hope- right state, right state. I'd lean right state plus the points. Ooh. I'd lean right state. Okay. I don't know how to quantify a lean. Two and a half. Okay. Wisconsin, Wisconsin's, Wisconsin's going to kill Colgate tonight. Fuck. They're going to destroy the fuck out of Colgate. Nobody with the name of a toothpaste has ever fucking won. A game in March. Okay, so can we? Can I put Wisconsin down for an eleven star? Is that how much you like that one? You said fucking kill. Yeah. Okay. And all right, so eight, ten and a half, thirteen and a half, twenty-four and a half, thirty-one and a half, thirty-five and a half stars. The Edonk has given you guys a chance to. Uh, yeah, I mean, here, here, you. I'll just go. I'll just do the whole board. Loyola, Auburn, Montana State, Purdue, Delaware, USC, Alabama for sure. Alabama, yeah. Fucking Notre Dame. Fuck you, Notre Dame. Cost me some money the other night. Virginia Tech, yes, please. Va Tech, Chattanooga, Duke. LSU, Wright State, UAB, Davidson, Wisconsin, TCU. Jamie Dixon, man. Jamie Dixon's a fucking coach. Jamie Dixon. The first person to tweet us at Fade the Mahoney, the 16 team parlay. Uh, that you wagered for at least ten dollars on those teams that the donk just rattled off, we'll get a official fade the Mahoney uh, shirt whenever we get around to producing one of those. Just just let us book it, and then we'll send you the shirt because we need to pay for it. 
All right. That'll do it. Uh, happy Friday. We're going to have this out. Uh, should be in plenty of time before the games tip off. So you DGENs can uh, gamble uh, against what the Edonk just said here. And uh, all you people who didn't enter the bracket contest, you are soft. Happy Friday. Good gambling. All right. Yeah. See you. Bye. Good luck.